I was going to introduce the game, but they have to punch these guys to death. Um, so hey guys, what's going on? We are doing, we are playing a new first person shooter. Uh, taking a break from Serious Sam because that game is frustrating as fuck. This is Apocrypha. It is a uh, indie dark fantasy first person shooter. Uh, it's been around for two years. I've always had my eye on it. It looks pretty cool because it looks like a medieval in the spirit of Heretic Hex and all these games I grew up playing. And I finally got around to buying it. And uh, so we're gonna we're gonna play it. Uh, we just finished beating up some bad guys with our uh, spiked fists. We got some grenades. Admiring the pretty music in a dark fantasy setting. Yeah, it's so cool. It's aesthetically pleasing. Okay, that's how grenades work. Cool. Uh, looks like these little mushrooms give you uh, armor. I'm assuming they give, give me health if I wasn't already at 100 health. Let's just grab that stuff. And, uh, can I punch this open? Can I... Okay, press B to open it. More skeletons. Cool. Punch these bad boys. Pretty easy to dodge their attacks because it, it takes so long to wind up that usually you can punch them to death before they hit you. But you can kick too. Cool. Let's just kick and punch these guys to death. I watch out for these little demon guys. They're a little bit more sturdier and they can throw fireballs. <coughs> Excuse me. Here we get our first weapon, the Cold Bolt Staff, which fires like a shotgun. Alright, some groove and music. Some, some people hate the music. This is one of the things that drew me to the game the most, was the music. Both the ambient and the, uh... Fight music is pretty cool in my opinion. Um, is it Doom 2016 level? No, because this game had probably like 100, one 100 budget. People are so critical of indie games. Like every company started off as an indie game. Indie company, you know what I mean? Before they got big. The only thing I will say about it is that uh, the timing of the music is not Great, like in Serious Sam, anytime you face an enemy, no matter what, it plays the fight music, and then it's only peaceful when there's no enemies. This one, sometimes you fight enemies and there's no fight music, and then, like, it's so abrupt, like, it doesn't fade in and out. So, I mean, I guess I could have done that better, but, like, again, they probably had a limited team and a limited budget. So, we're just walking around this dark castle thing, and we're gonna pull this lever and uh, fucking ambush. That thing's creepy looking. We're just gonna blast these guys easy peasy. First level is not hard at all, it's just showing you the mechanics of the game, you know, as as most games do. Let's go down here. We haven't been here before. More baddies. Let's, uh, you go. Have a grenade. Punch you to death. Yeah. This game received mixed reviews, which is why I held off on it for two years, because I didn't want to pay money and uh, have a shit game. Um, but one of the criticisms that you constantly low on ammo, which if you're a first person shooter and they, you give them so much ammo and it's not challenged, like I don't understand the critique, but uh, I'm going to punch enemies when possible to save on ammo so I'm not stuck in a shitty situation. Alright, we took care of these uh, Venus flytrap motherfuckers, uh, little house of horror shit coming on here. Punch you, fuck you. Make green bees out of you. Ow, fuck. 
Did I get them all? I don't know. I think I did. Fuck you, pot. Oh, you can't break the pot for some reason. Okay, that's cool. All right, see these little uh, orange balls are armor shards. That's cool. Another ambush. Fuck. Yeah. Ooh, barely got out of there. Another criticism this game got was that they throw a lot of enemies in a very small spot, which again, every first person does, I don't, like the, the critiques are just like, have you played first person shooters before? I don't understand. But uh, space management is very important because these levels are not that big, as you can see, you can easily get cornered and just get fucked, so. We got some monster inviting, that's cool. And there we go, not too bad at all. Hey buddy, what's going on? Yep. Punch you. Fuck you. Stupid fireball motherfuckers. Yeah. Ooh, I got a key. Some more mushrooms. These, uh, death worshipping cultists sure like their mushrooms, apparently. Who would have known? Alright, so I'm just making sure I didn't miss anything like this, that's important. Just uh, this up. Ooh, a lot of bad guys. Ow. Okay, that hurt, that sucked. Got fireball there. Cool though, it's cool man. Fine. Ow, got hit again, man. Alright, not the smoothest, but uh, it's fine. It's fine. It's gonna be fine. I knew there's some backup health laying around. Let's just grab that real quick. Yeah, no problem. Whoa, Jesus. Punch you till you die from it. There you go, easy. Oh, again, yeah. Jesus, these guys show up like from randomly as fuck. Fortunately, they're not that tough, but... Uh, that guy's definitely dead, if I had to guess. Definitely, definitely dead. See? A high-pitched pain growl echoes through the halls. Okay. Wonder what that means. Oh, this game definitely takes its inspiration uh, from Hexen in regards to the fact that things happen and you don't know what happened. You have to backtrack the level to figure it out very cryptically with those messages. And that guy, okay. Okay, you're kicking my ass. Fuck you. I'm not gonna get stuck here. Fuck that. Fuck that. Oof. Oh, you're too big to get to the door. Get some of this health. 
and uh, deal with these assholes. They don't creep back up on me. Although I don't think they're that smart. The enemy I, I in this game is like retarded. But hey, that's paying homage to uh, old first person shooters where they were in fact retarded. Take that. Alright, so I'm half dead, so let's find any more health before I open up that red door. Yeah, there were some back here, okay. Short-term memory loss here. And let's see what's behind the red door. A whole bunch of bad guys. Oh, it looks like these witch guys can summon skeletons. Oh, that's cool. Kill them pretty quickly before we waste more ammo killing these skeletons over and over again. Oh wow, we actually got a glass skeleton. Okay. It's always worth to check every barrel, every crate. Oh, so that's what it does. Okay, cool. I just want to figure out what the what the items do. So that this red thing is like a health potion. Another thing, as you know, are grenades. So cool. We we know the items we have. Oh, I thought it opened the gate. Okay, whatever. Cool. Oh, eat that fireball for breakfast. And there we go. Any leftover health? I don't want to use a health potion unless I have to. I think there might be some out here in the front of the very beginning of the level. Uh, that is a negative. Anything back here? No. Okay, cool. Anything back here? Hmm. I don't think so. I think I got all of it. I just want to double check. Yep, I guess that's it. Let's check over here real quick. I haven't been down here before. Ooh, a new weapon. Cool. So that acts like a... I don't know, like a chain gun, I guess. Just kind of weak. Kind of like the original chain gun, not the chain gun in uh, the new Dooms. That one's way more powerful. I guess kind of like the rifle in uh, the new Doom. Epic firing, but not that tough. And, uh, okay, well, we didn't get any health, we got a new weapon, so that's cool. Anything in here? Some mushrooms, okay. That bad.
Yeah, just mow those skeletons down. Wow, that was easy. It does way more damage per second than the shotgun thing does, that's for sure. Alright, back up to 100 health. That's cool. It's always a good feeling. A stalwart shield that gave me a lot of armor. Oh, the music started, but I don't see anything. Ah, there we go. Ooh, actual demons. Cyclops. Wow. Alright, let's just not get gangbanged by these motherfuckers. There we go. He's just waiting for me. Oh, and skeletons. Oh, wow. Cool. And you close the door. Okay, also awesome. Okay, this is going to be real fun. I can see what people are talking about when they throw a lot of enemies in a small area with this crap. <laughs> but I like it. I, I don't mind this at all. Ow. But fireballs, I do mind. That's really annoying. <laughs> look at that one skeleton. Look, look how he's so high. <laughs> That is hilarious. There's gonna be a lot of funny crap like in this game because it's a... Uh, it's an indie game. So some of that shit happened in Doom Eternal too, like, every game has glitches like that. Take care of these uh, stragglers here, these fireball assholes. So there are two types of fireball assholes. Those are smaller ones and then the bigger ones that are a bit like bloodier and redder. Just like with these ogres, there's the regular guys here, and then there's those bloody ones I fought earlier, which are tougher, so, so that's cool. Fuck you, barrel. Ow, kind of hard to dodge those things too because they come in three, three ways, three separate beams. Okay, but whatever, not not too shabby. Still a hundred health for you, big box. They're tough luck. It takes to break you. Ooh, more grenades. And uh, you're coming alive, aren't you? Are you? Oh, yes, you are. Okay, fuck. <laughs> you have stone ogres. Ooh. Not too much tougher than regular ogres. They just look bigger. portal opens, and uh, we're done with the first level, guys. My lowest fuck. <laughs> 